And today we're trying something new. I'm actually going to take you through a week of vlogging. Actually, that was my original thought, but this is me now trying to edit the video. This first part, the introduction, was a freaking mess. I was moving the camera so much, I'm sure I'd make you guys throw up. So, as you can tell, something is up. You will hear about it later in the day. I'm gonna share with you guys different things that uh, I go through the day to see if it's something you guys enjoy watching. You know, if there's a product that I use or a recipe. Oh my gosh, I have to record this one recipe before this movie goes live because Ooh, it's so easy and so yummy. You guys have to try it. Welcome. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you on the other side. Growing is a process that is often associated with the development of life. Whether it be in the form of a plant, a child, or a skill, or even personal growth. All with one thing in common. Loving dedication. I usually start my day by having myself a cup of coffee while I fix my son's lunch. And yes, both my husband and I still make the kids lunch for school. It's our little treat for them. And after that, once they leave, I shower, take care of my skin, I open the, the windows in my bedroom, and I make my bed. I try to do that every single day because I just enjoy getting back on bed when it's all nice and made. So last week, if you checked that video, I received this sample of a Viteri Brightening Serum. It's a CC Serum. And this one, as you can see, the color is really dark. But oh my gosh, I tried it on. Say in the summer, I can probably wear that. It was so beautiful and it was glistening. So I went online and I purchased a color that I thought was more fitting to me. It is called Apricot Glow. Now, I do know that just recently, by Terry came up with like four new colors and I didn't go to look at it. I just bought the first thing that showed up because I was so anxious to try it on. So, I'm gonna put it on. Right now, I do have sunscreen and my sunscreen has a little shimmer and, sorry about the light, light keeps changing. Let's see if I move out of the bathroom. There you go. So, mm, it's not helping. Anyway, I wanted you to see the color and how the product looks, but I am wearing sunscreen and actually a combination. One has a little hint of color. It cost me a pretty penny. I think it's like $80 for this little vial. You can mix it with your makeup or you could just put it on, but I did not notice anything with this color. So I'm thinking it's probably too light for me. This is what the color looks like. It's a little warm. I can go either way with my makeup, warm or cool, but right now it looks shiny. What, can you tell? See that little shimmer? How pretty that is? It is so gorgeous and gentle and delicate. I'm sure it has some goodies in it, so you guys can look that up. It's called the Brightening CC Serum, so I'm sure it's got some sort of interesting formulation is it's not just for color but I'll put some on my forehead so three pumps on an $80 fun serum there is hardly co any coverage it just has this beautiful glow so I wanted to try it for you guys today and I will probably just put some mascara on and we'll move on to doing some seed planting. I have to show you guys what I did. So I love technology and for Christmas I wanted for my family a 3D printer. So I've been 3D printing stuff around the house. With the same filament I printed some stuff for gardening that we're gonna work on next. So this is my cat bowl. Hi! 
has a little cat face. I actually increased the size of the bowl and then I can make it like different sizes. And I don't think it holds water very well, so it's a big gamble that I'm doing. But anyway, I love this. So because I use this filament to print several little things, I didn't have enough to print all of my little seed starters. But I'm going to show you that too. But I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. Just... Because that's what I do. <laughs> Alright, so I'm wearing a, a black, total all black outfit with my little headband and the cutest boots. I've had these boots for a year now. I love having gardening boots. I keep them by the back door and I put them on every time I go outside, which is every single morning. Rain or shine, because I like to check my plants. They're so cute. They have like buds in them. I'll do a close up on my boots for you. I am just so excited about my mushrooms. Look at them. That ding is my dog trying to get out. <laughs> it's muddy outside. Look at that. All those things down there with the little black. I, I mean, I know this looks disgusting, but eventually this side here will also sprout. I hope they don't all sprout at the same time. It usually takes 10 days and I can't wait. Yum. I got this apron and I think it's so cute. It comes in several colors. The only thing is I bought it extra large because they said, oh, size up. But I think it's a little too big. So when I buy my next color, which will be a beige, I'll probably just get it large. They match my boots. This table, my daughter has painted, drawn, crafted, glued, all sorts of projects in it. So I don't mind putting dirt on it. Also, I have to mop the floors today because my dog has dragged mud all over it. So kind of daily activities of my glamorous life. <laughs> but here it is. So the table will have everything I need. I have the dirt in a bag like this. It feels moist enough. I don't use gloves, so don't worry about it. So ideally, you would have your dirt wet. Mine is kind of cold. It's been outside and it's been raining, but it still doesn't feel, feels friable. I don't care because this is the thing I printed. It's like a container and it has a water reservoir where you put the water in and the soil soaks up the water from the bottom. But I'm using these to sprout. So literally the first few weeks, a few days, it just needs a sprinkle of water on top. So I'm not going to worry about how wet my dirt is. I want to try artichoke. I've tried growing artichoke for years. This is going to be my third year trying. It's just too hot. I think in the summer, this thing just kind of disastrously passes out. So I'll just do things like sweet pepper, marigold, nasturtiums, and just get a few things started. I think I'm going to do the nasturtium outside, but there are a few things I want to start indoors. I know this sounds crazy, but I don't label my fruits and vegetables. I just kind of learn to figure out what they are as I look at them. I'm no expert, but I can tell what is a marigold as opposed to what is an artichoke by the true leaves. Also, I told myself I was going to plant by the face of the moon because there's a whole planting by the moon thing where it depends on if it's a full moon or and, and people for generations have tried that because you know as a full moon the water tables go up so things that will sprout roots is a good time to do that and actually I think we have a full moon tonight so I'm thinking that's a good time. I'm gonna write right here when it's a good time to start seeds, but it doesn't matter because I'm starting inside, so there's no water table, really. It's me. It's everything is being artificially done, and then once they sprout, they're gonna be under artificial LED lights as well. Growing plants is an excellent way to connect with nature and witness the wonder of growth firsthand. 
The process of growing plants requires patience, effort, and a willingness to observe and learn. It teaches us about the delicate balance of nature and how we can influence it for the better. So I have overseeded with my sunflowers because I want to make a curtain of sort of sunflowers behind my grill just for some privacy. Just a few peppers, three types. I'm trying again with that artichoke. Wish me luck and if you have any tricks, let me know. But they just don't seem to grow here in Texas. It's just too hot. I'm just gonna drizzle it with some water and then put some press and seal to keep the humidity until they germinate. Maybe in a week and some of them in like a couple of days, they germinate. It's so efficient to keep that moisture in like there. The kitchen and then once that's consistent. done, I will remove the covers, put it close to the sun, let it get some sunlight until true leaves come, and then I'll put it under my growing lights probably so that they will get enough light until it really warms up and nothing gets destroyed once I put them in the garden. I just got this in the mail. It's an LED mask. I've always wanted to have one and this company sent it to me. So it's an LED mask and it has all the specifications. I actually, everything is in here. I went on their website and I did some research on it. They have exactly everything that the experts tell you to do, like from the amount of light per inch, actual range on the light, the actual beneficial range. And I'll write it all over here. I want you to have just like a real simple, this is it, A, B, C. That's what you need to look for, how long to use, because I've done a ton of research. And some people say, use it straight for 28 days, but some other research has shown that if you only use it twice a week, 10 minutes, use it for an entire month, and then you can stop for three months. And that during that time, all the benefits are going to be happening, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't wanna do it all the time. Raising children is a type of growing experience. As they grow, they develop their own personalities, interests, and values. And it is up to us as parents to guide them along the way so they can grow into confident, well-rounded individuals. One day later, wow. We went to a solo competition for my son's cello, actually. I went to have coffee because we're not allowed to be in the competition hall. He got his medal. Yay. Super proud of him. It was something that he decided to do on his own and he got it done. So the way it works, it works with light, right? So the blue light, red light, and then a combination of both. Blue lights usually will clear out your skin, whereas the red light will excite the organelles that create collagen in your skin to plump it up. I only use the red ones because the blue light can heat up your skin and by heating it up it can make my dark spots worse. So we are on our way to the garden center and I was hoping, hoping, hoping that my crew that's going with me, i.e. my husband and my youngest son, would be willing to try the new uh, garden center over at a town nearby, but nobody wants to. So I might have to go and do that solo. In the meanwhile, I'll take you guys to Lowe's. So we are here at Lowe's and they have a great garden center. Love that. And uh, it smells beautiful. It smells like spring already. Oh, look at the pansies. 
and this is Candita. This is Kyacin. And a lot of people do not like the smell of this, but I don't mind it, especially outside. They already have some vegetables, I think. Let's take a look. Ooh, lettuce, yeah. My lettuce is starting to grow. It's not this big, but I have plenty that I already threw out. Uh, there's some broccoli and red romaine. I See, that's, those are the little red things I had up in my garden. They'll get there soon. So I'm not in a hurry, but here in Texas, you wanna start your garden, your spring garden really early. Otherwise they will fry by come June. You just can't do anything. So they have things like basils and the basics. I have all of this already growing at the house and in my garden. Onions, skip it. I can't digest onions. I found what I needed. I just need two more of these and it's ready to go. We need some dirt and I'm not buying any flowers today. I'm just, but there is so much out here. Aren't these lovely? Ooh, look at what I found. These are much bigger than the ones I got though. On to the groceries. This is our local market here in the neighborhood. They have the best European pastry shop and everything is made right here. I love that about this place. And there's this dulce de leche. Oh, tres leches thing. Oh, I can eat one all by myself. I don't, but I totally can. Oh, caramel flan, that sounds delicious. I totally want any of that. But it's just this little tiny little mart and they have things from all over the world in their uh, grocery section. Like there were, but I just love coming here. We pretty much come here five times a week. <laughs> Another one of my favorite things to get from here, it's their baklava. Oh, I could have a hundred pieces. All done. It's starting to look like springtime in here. Can't wait to fill these with pretty things. This is just crazy, you guys. So, the last photo was about 24 hours ago. Look at this. So they say when it gets to one to two inches, you need to harvest. So I'm gonna wait until it gets a little bit longer or when the tops are flat. So they're kind of flat, but I'm gonna wait. See, it's still, the one that's about one inch long is not completely flat yet. I can't wait. And I want a whole bunch of them to be ready at the same time because I'm gonna cook it. I'm the only one in the household who eats mushrooms. So it will be a nice meal for me. So today my son is getting his braces out. Yay! But um, I wanted to show you real quick what I'm wearing because it's really, I'm just gonna run down, pick him up, take him to the orthodontist and then um, get something for dinner and then pick him back up, come back home. So I wanted to be comfortable. I didn't want to fuss. My hair is a little messy because I haven't fixed it in a while. It's a mess. And <clears throat> everybody is sniffling around here. So I don't know what that's all about. So. Just take a look at the outfit. It's just my blue dress with like tennis shoes and this little capey thing that covers my my bra straps. I didn't want to 
mess with strapless bras. Mm -hmm. All done! All right, guys, so I'm waiting for him. I already signed him out. But I just wanted to tell you, if you haven't been to a school lately, there are all sorts of, you know, scary, creepy notices. Double sets of locked doors everywhere. And I'm sure some of those are bulletproof. So this is where or how we have to live now. It's kind of sad. I didn't have that growing up. Braces off. And this is why people are sniffing. So, oh my God, you guys, look at this. This yesterday, these things were, they were big, but not this gigantic. So I have to wait until they turn two, one to two inches wide, and then I'll be cooking them for dinner tomorrow night. Personal growth is perhaps the most crucial form of growth and it impacts every aspect of one's life. It encompasses everything from self-reflection and introspection to setting and achieving personal goals. It requires us to examine our beliefs, values, and habits and to challenge ourselves to become better versions of ourselves. Personal growth can be a difficult and often uncomfortable process, but the rewards are immeasurable, leading to a greater sense of purpose and fulfillment. Whether it be the satisfaction of seeing a plant bloom, the joy of watching a child grow and succeed, the pride of mastering a new skill, or the personal satisfaction of achieving personal growth. Growth provides a sense of accomplishment and purpose. Growing also has a ripple effect, impacting not only the individual, but also those around them. A child who is nurtured and supported will grow into a confident and well-rounded individual who can make a positive impact on the world. A plant grown with care can provide food and a newly developed skill can be passed on to others. Yeah guys, so that little sniffle turned into something bigger. I don't know if it is just allergies, which I think it is. I do have a COVID test, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm just not gonna go anywhere. I already had to cancel today doing the adult thing and very exciting thing of getting my driver's license renewed. And I probably won't be able to volunteer at the school at week's end. I don't want to because I don't want to expose anybody to this because we are having a career fair, which is super cool for the kids graduating middle school. That's something that they do every year. I love that where they bring different companies. It's kind of like a, um, you know, a meet and greet from uh, college here in Texas at middle school, like the very last year which is eighth grade you already have to declare you don't have to but you know a lot of people will declare not a major but a, a field of learning so that they can start taking their classes in high school to cover the basics of um, for example STEM or social studies or if you want to be a psychiatrist psychologist they have that all figured out and during career day is a good time for the kids to kind of see how these professions work I also have a call that's why I'm all made up I have a call later today I can tell you all about these things there's a whole lot other side of YouTube that you guys don't see but as a content creator I get deals and invited to do commercials but I can't disclose the company so it's a good way to have a little bit of extra income for me it's a way to support the channel also when you link on the products that I list it's another way that you guys can support my channel if you do purchase something usually it's very little money but you know eventually when I'm a big youtuber it will be do I have a lipstick on my teeth anyway when I'm a bigger youtuber it will be worth more right now like I said I'd never even I don't I don't even look at that stuff because it's pennies just like cents at a time but 
I wanted to learn all the processes so that I can make an income for myself. So I have three kids going to college. <laughs> but it's fun too. I really enjoy the time this time we spend together it's a pity that they don't have like an immediate way to talk back to you and for me to see what your life is like on my next um, vlog i am going to address a few of the questions and requests that you guys have done like how do i make my bun i know it's probably gonna be a few weeks i don't know if vlogs are something you guys want to watch and if it is just let me know. I can talk forever. Like I can't, this was going to be a week long and really I only did like two days or three because this happened. I think I would have so much content that you guys would be so bored. <laughs> so I'm going to limit this one. If this was something that you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments if you want more content like this. Yeah, let's see. I keep cleaning my teeth sorry oh i do have a box coming i think next week maybe i'll have another box like clothing box that we, we can break down and i forgot what it's about so i hope you guys have a great weekend i'm sorry it was my first real vlog i have done a vlog before way back when when i first started like a vlog and it wasn't very popular <laughs> I think I bore people, but I tried a few different uh, camera lenses and a, a few different things this time and hopefully that's something you guys enjoy. Be ruthless. Just go ahead and tell me what you like, what you don't like, because I want to create content for you and not for people that just come and go. I want to know what you guys like so that I can do more of. Okay, see you later.